Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. And with that, welcome to Half-Life 2. I didn't see you get on. Yeah, well I did. Yes, anyways, um... Welcome to my Half-Life 2 walkthrough. Um, this is not blind. I've played this before. And so I'm just going to go through... Obviously it's not going to be a 100%... Oh, my third transfer this year. A 100% uh, ending, as in I'm not going to try to get everything in the game. But I'm doing it to show you Welcome. the story Welcome of this game. Um, <laughs> This particular game has been touted to be one of the best video games ever uh, because the story is so uh, so well written and the characters are, are really interesting and some other things that I'll say while I'm playing here that I, I found out. Oh, we start off in a city called City 17. And each person that you come up to and talk to, like this guy. Don't drink the water. They put something in it to, to make you forget. I don't even remember how I got here. Hmm. Yeah, each person adds to this story. Leave. You never see them go. They're always full. No one ever gets on, but they're always, always departing, but they never arrive. And the ones that do arrive, they never leave. You never see them go, they're always full, no one ever gets on, but they're always, they're Welcome. always departing, but they never arrive. Welcome yep. to City 17. You have chosen, or you know, been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest I think that all of this security is a little bit overkill. I mean, we're not, we're, we're not, we're not going into, in the into a, uh, an airplane or anything. I've been proud to yeah, this happens to me at the airport all the time. Yep. Exactly. Get hauled into the back room for questioning. This must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. What, no, please? Ooh, look at that chair. Alright, well, if I'm gonna get tortured, I might as well get on with it. Back, back up into the chair more? Is that what you meant? About that beer I owed you. Oh, it's Barney. me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Oh, Barney. I'm sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I'm okay, notice that the civil character there can't take too long or uh, get suspicious. tracks where you're moving. On my beating quota. Yes, I believe that Half-Life 2 I'm came out in sorry, 2005? Great Scott. Anywhere More between 2003 and 2005. I expected More warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon, good to see you. Okay, you Gordon. Too. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. 
Okay. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. All right, what I was saying was the ability for other characters to realize where your character was and follow your movements was revolutionary for uh, Half-Life 3. I'm sorry, Half-Life 2. <clears throat> so, and a, a lot of first-person shooters still don't do that. All right, I'm going to carry this bottle. Oh, oh okay. Okay, I'm going to carry I'm going to carry a bottle. Uh, my disguise is a hobo. A drunken hobo. No one's going to notice me. Crap. Oh, my disguise is blown. Okay, this is an interesting little thing here. This guy. Yeah, he, he makes you pick up the can before you continue. And you have an option. You can either put it in the trash can, like he says, or not put it in the trash can. And so I decide to throw it at the guy. <laughs> he comes after you with his little chargey stick thing. Question oh, he's still behind me, isn't he? Ah, oh, crap. Well, at least he didn't kill me with the thing. Alright, right now I don't have anything to protect myself with. So, you know, if something were to happen, I can't really do anything. They're gonna arrest me or whatever. Now, City 17 is somewhere in East Europe, I believe. Um, I expect that because of the lettering that you see on some of the signs, it's akin to Russian lettering. So it might be a, a Soviet uh, Soviet state. Not to say that it's the same right now. Because, you know, the Combine has to have taken over. The Combine, by the way, are those people that are in the masks, if you didn't know. Yeah, they're in control of at least the city and First the building, it could be the it could be all block. all the they world. Have no to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. Yes. Yes, they will. Oh, look at that. A little swing set, a little baby. Alright, my new disguise. I am a baby doll. Ooh, what was that? Hmm. I'm a baby doll delivery person. Not to that place I'm not. All right. No one suspects anything. I am a baby doll delivery person. Just out on my normal routes, smacking the baby against the wall. You know, no big deal. <laughs> ma'am, is this your baby? Ma'am, don't don't run away from the baby, ma'am. Oh, I thought you were a cop. Nope, He's just a doll delivery person. I told you they'd be coming for us yeah, next. I don't like this guy. Just this once, I hope you're wrong. Take that end table. I can't take it anymore. Everything's gonna be okay. What are we going to do? We'll think of something. How would I give you that baby doll earlier? I'll give you that one. First, we can take this out of the wall. Please. It's all right. There we go in this way. No, nope, that's a bathroom. Yeah, it's a very dark, creepy bathroom. No, oh, I guess I can't give you that baby. Attention, residents. Miss Count detected in your block. Okay, all right. Head for the roof. There's no time to lose. Oh crap, things are about to get heavy. I can't run. I'm just walking. Oh, oh, guess I go up. I can only go up from here. Okay, I'm going to the roof. 
And the first time I played this, I'm like, oh, where am I going? Where am I going? And I, uh, I'll quick pick up at one of these cans. I'll use it as a uh, deterrent against bullets. Aluminum cans aren't bulletproof. <clears throat> and they started shooting at me, and I'm like, what's going on? I don't know. My history with Half-Life 2 is I was in college last year, and um, uh -oh. my roommate, no, no, ow, ow, no, ow. My roommate told me about Half-Life 2 in, in, in Portal, and he's like, dude, you should really, uh, you should really play it. Hmm. Oh, hello. Dr. Freeman, I presume. Indeed. I better hurry. Gordon Freeman, Gordon Freeman. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. No, no one gave me anything. Okay, at this point I'm wondering why can't I get one of their uh, their I'm sticks, Alex their Vance. shocky sticks. My father worked with you back in Black I know, Mesa. I know that they had them. I'm sure you don't remember me though. I'm sure it'd be very interesting to uh, Man, a few words, to get you? one of those at this point. Yes, my character does not talk. Anyways, my roommate last year was like, "Yeah, you should really check Mesa, these out." Your old administrator. And I'm like, oh. Don't get my dad and I, I bought Dr. them on, on Steam through the uh, through orange here. box. And I'm like, oh, this is awesome. So I started playing them, and then I realized that, you know, I could. Funny, you showing up on this day in particular. Do a, uh, a let's play of it, so I'm replaying it for all of you guys who don't know what Half Life is. We've been helping people escape the city on foot. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab, through the old canals. Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better way. <laughs> Here, let me buy you a drink. Dr. Breen's oh, private reserve? Is that what that says? Nice to finally meet you. Oh, nice to finally meet you too. Ooh. Ooh. Blast that to the... Where did she get to? Lamar! Come out of there! Hmm. Uh-oh, everything all right? Look at this place. Oh, oh, a cactus. Uh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has this too? out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd just... Mm, nothing. Is there anything? My goodness. Oh. Gordon Freeman. Huh? It really is you, isn't it? I no. found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great uh, deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I don't need to hear this. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loveliness. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? There you are. Oh, hey. man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. And I'll start up again, too. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll <laughs> jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. Oh, that's awesome. That's right, Barney. This is a red-letter day. We'll inaugurate the new oh, teleport right. with a double transmission. You mean it's working? Triple, because my plan's going to. Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous about. What cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc. Since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civvies. What? Oh dear, you're right. I almost forgot. Barney, I'll give you the honor. <laughs> I've got to get back on my ship, but okay. I like to think that that cat got turned inside out by the uh, Here we go. Ah! by the teleporter. Damn it, get it off they don't me. actually ever say that though. Lamar. Oh, there yeah, by the way, that's a head crab. rid of that pet. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's DB and they're impervious to harmless. cactus. The worst apparently. you might do is attempt to couple with your head fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me. Here, my pet. Hop up. 
No, not up there. No, no. Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile. No, my oh, monitor from fine. the 80s. It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney, you're not an animal person. <sighs> Taking the plant. Nothing wrong here. Well, Just a man ahead. with a cactus. Go ahead. Slip into your suit now. Sweet. All right. Well, Gordon, I'm ready. I see your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. At least the glove parts do. <laughs> I've made a oh, few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now let's see. The Mark V hazardous environment suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. At least get that suit you stuff, Gordon. Good idea. There's a charger on the wall. I've modified your suit to draw power from combine energy outlets, which are plentiful wherever they patrol. Wherever they the patrol. The Down my plant. Pick it back up. Alright, let's keep going. Position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my work. Isaac, are you All right. there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a hold up on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. Gordon Freeman. <laughs> That's not who I think it is. Indeed it is. And it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? You're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Let's see. This field flux should self-limit, and I've clamped the manifold parameters to C1-base and LT orbifold over Conditions could hardly be more ideal. That's what you said last time. Hey, uh, yeah, about that cat. Visualizing in three... Still worried about two, the cat. One... So oh. Doctor, the, the plug. Uh, Doctor, the plug. Oh, uh, dear me. Sorry. You're right. Gordon... Would you mind plugging us in? Yep, no problem. There you go. Excellent. You gonna let Gordon throw the switch? Oh yeah, let Gordon throw the switch. Let oh. Gordon throw the switch. Oh, right ahead. Yes, yes. I'll throw the switch. Okay, okay, okay. Three, two, one. Very good. Final sequence. Commencing. Wait. Now. Okay, Wait, okay. I thought I was the final sequence. What did that actually do? <laughs> Did it work? See for yourself. Hey, Doc. Oh, thank goodness. My relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work. I wonder how well, relief I tastes. Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman nope. proved an able right. assistant. Let's now I'm ready. Let's go and bring Gordon through now. Right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. All right, Yeah, Barney. thanks, Barney. Your turn. Gee, thanks. Gordon, as soon as you're in position, we'll send you to Eli's. And, and my plan. Too soon. I really hope that this plant doesn't mess Next. anything up. Initializing in three, two, one. Uh, Barney, if you'll be so kind. Okay, how can I hold this plant outside yes, of those indeed. things? We're ready to project it, Gordon. Bon voyage. That's okay. That's how the plant's not real. Endeavors. Final scene. Ah, uh, crap. Man, the cactus is gone. It seems to be some kind of interference. Gordon, stay put. You get your arm attack. Something's drawing him away. What's the meaning of this? Who are you? How did you get in here? Hey, hey, get back. I'm 
Certain it was Gordon Freeman. Gordon Freeman. No. He didn't come through. Then where is he? Behind you. Shut it down. Shut it down. Gordon, you must get out of here. Bam! Get down out of sight. I'll come find you. Yeah. Oh, that was a trip. All right, well, now we're on the run. I had to be quiet in that last part because what they were saying was rather important. But now, now is when the fun begins. Oh. Okay. Hey, Gordon. Yep, hi. The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. That's get out Citadel, of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's, it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and Take with before you. I forget, I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. Oh yeah. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it. Yep, now I have a weapon. But with that, I think I'm going to stop. So until next episode, I will see you later.